Tuesday morning, guys. I woke up like this. Not really. Kind of weird if I did wake up like this. Especially how the baby's in my bed. What happened here? Anyways, yeah. So, I have on a honey, cinnamon, and nutmeg uh, face mask. Just kind of giving it a whirl. Got a little breakout area here. and I read online that it's supposed to help. So, I thought, why not? I already have all those ingredients in my cabinet. Why not? We're going to give this a whirl. So, I decided to this morning because I am going to put on my makeup. But, anyways. It's like 7.07, .07, which I'm greeting you guys pretty early. Because I generally greet you guys after the kids have left for school. But, uh, they haven't left yet. Kids are in there playing. Daniel's here. Daniel's not feeling well. So I guess Daniel will be with me today. It's not like I had any special plans or anything. I'm just kidding. He's like, oh, excuse us, you guys. Yeah, excuse that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about what that is, okay? Anyways, I'll cover it up with makeup, but... Anywho, I'm getting my morning started off right with some coffee. The baby's not awake yet. So, maybe I'll be able to fit in my little 30-minute workout before I go to town. Because that's kind of sort of where I fell. I drop off, like, on Tuesday. And then I'm like, okay, I'll get it Wednesday. And I might work out Wednesday. And then I'll get busy. And then I won't do it, like, Thursday or Friday. So, maybe if I still do my little, my little workout thing. Because i got to leave this on for about 30 minutes. I can still, I still hit it, but then I gotta get myself, uh, dressed. Daniel's like, what are you talking about, woman? But anyways, I thought I'd jump on here and say good morning, so good morning, guys. I hope your morning is starting off well, even if you're starting off with a face mask and a workout, or you're just starting off with coffee. Hope it's starting off well. Alright, so I just washed off that face mask. Not only do you smell like a holiday cookie walking around, while the face mask is on and when you take it off, but it actually feels really good and my skin feels really, really soft, which is amazing. I don't know if you guys can tell on this light, but I'm having some issues back in this area and then I have one right here and I have one right here and then I'm having them in this area. Of course, this camera doesn't make it look, you know, but anyways, I tried that mask and it does, I mean, it made my face look really good and it feels really good. So, I mean, it's definitely worth a while, worth a, worth a while. Worth a whirl. Um, like, I got up and I didn't put anything on my face. Didn't, you know, do anything. I just put um, two, two teaspoons of honey, a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Mixed it up and I painted it on my face. And I left it on for like 25-30 minutes. Um, if you don't like it or it starts to burn, you can take it off in about 20 minutes. It shouldn't burn. But um, anyways, but it feels really good and it looks really good. And my face, to me, it looks a little bit brighter. It looks looks a little bit better as far as like bright wise it just it just looks better it looks clean it feels clean so yeah I mean if you got the time to spare I'm not saying do this before work I mean if you I know you go like Monica I can't put this on and spend like 30 minutes with a face mask on before I even get ready you know to go out the door I know do it after work it'll feel just as good but I did mine before um, because I'm gonna put on makeup and I wanted to kind of get some of the dead skin and stuff off my face and I always do that but uh, I kind of have a little routine um, about what I do before I apply my foundation. I might do a video on that. I might not. I don't know. Because I've had a couple of people ask me how I make my foundation last all day. Um, I have a secret. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, lotion on my face. Moisturizer, whatever you call it. Because um, I just seen Riley walk past the door. So he's awake. I need to go get him some milk and breakfast. And today's look is brought to you by Monica. No, okay. Okay, so um, I bought this shirt. What was it on clearance? It's kind of, I feel like it shrunk up a little. Maybe it's just me. Anyways, I bought this shirt on clearance, what was it, a couple weeks ago? Anyways, but I wore it to the pumpkin patch and I washed it. And now I kind of feel like it's shrunk a little bit. But anyways, it's cute. It's just a uh, plaid, was it, um, sleeveless uh, button up. And remember, I wasn't too sure about the back because it does come open like that. But as long as you wear, like, a tank top like I do, it should be fine. But I kind of feel like it shrunk just a smidge. I don't know. I kind of just like long, loose, flowy things. But that's okay. But anyways, I'm wearing those with my favorite LEI jeans. I swear, these are a lifesaver. Especially during the winter when you just don't really feel like putting on, like, real clothes. These are a lifesaver. Okay? Get you some of these. Anyways, and then I am wearing these brown little, like, um, moccasin shoes that I got years and years ago 
at, where did I get these at? JC Panties. That's what it was. Got these years ago at JC Panties. And then I kept my hair um, pretty basic. I just washed it and fluffed it up a little bit in the back. Um, yeah, that's about it. What are you doing? Didn't really do anything special with the makeup today. Um, just put on basic. Excuse me. I just put on basic makeup, um, just washed my hair, like I said, dried it, and yeah, I mean, I'm not going too, too many places, so I'm not going to spend hours on end putting on, you know, makeup, but I did uh, put on my new little earrings that I got to kind of match my watch um, that I showed you guys last Tuesday, I think it was last Tuesday, something like that, anyways, just, just lose, but anyways, we're about to head on to town, can't you tell this is an excited face? We just got out of the thrift store. I did find a couple of good deals. So, A plus there. And but now I'm over here at Starbucks going to get me some coffee because I'm starting to kind of uh, <laughs> getting kind of tired. So I need a little pick me up. And then I might go check out this one store that every single time I drive by, I'm like, oh, I should have went in there. And I see it so many times, but I've never actually been in. But I should go in there. It's another like secondhand store. But. I don't know. Ooh, wow. season returns. Peppermint, mocha, chestnut, praline latte, Daddy. caramel, 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 brulee latte. Uh, the sprinkles on the top had me, but none of them really sound like, mmm, drink me. We'll probably just go with the huge. No! Just the usual. Is it torture? I don't think he likes Walmart anymore. Then don't die. I seen that shirt last time and no sticker on it. And it's still here and probably no sticker. <laughs> probably not. There's no sticker on it. And there's none here like it. And I'm over here browsing clothes in the men's section. I got a bunch of stuff going on clearance. Bunches, bunches, and bunches. I wish I would have had some of my boys up. I'm gonna tell you, coffee and Taco Bell don't mix. Mm hmm, but I was starving. We just went and got one of those little $5 boxes. I gave Daniel the drink, and um, I'm eating the Burrito Supreme, and he ate, I think it was what, with the taco? So and now he's so eating the nachos and stuff. Um, I just went in and checked my P.O. box. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, my P.O. box. There you go. The mini shire and address, but uh, check my P.O. box and I have a letter or something from my friend, I believe Lisa. So I'm gonna open this up and see what it is, but we're gonna go ahead and head home. I forgot to take that movie in. Oh well. Um, I'll just put it in the mailbox as I drive home. But um, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and head home. I have a bill to pay uh, there. And then when Dale gets home, we're supposed to run and go get um, our anniversary gift. Because our anniversary is November 4th. 11 years, y'all, November 4th. So we're going to run and go get our anniversary gift. I'm super excited. I'll have to show you guys what it is when we get it. But I'm going to make you wait until we get it. I'm not going to tell you a second beforehand. But anyways, just don't drink coffee and tacos, y'all. And be careful if you're driving and eating tacos. And don't drink Mountain Dew. We're back home now. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh, you guys. Saddest thing ever happened, okay? So, I'm driving down the road, okay? I was one bite, one bite of making it home without dropping burrito on my clothes. One bite, it all squirts out the bottom, all on my, like, shirt and stuff and on my pants. I couldn't even finish that last bite. I was, like, just so disgusted with it. I just, like, threw it in the box. Like, you don't deserve to be eaten. Yeah, I was so upset. But anyways, we're back home now. I went and paid the bill. And I want to show you guys a couple things that I got today. I mostly got clothing items today, which is kind of shocking. But then again, kind of a good thing. Um, so I have a mixture of thrift store and just Walmart pretty much. But um, I'm going to have Daniel hold the camera here in just a few minutes. And so I can show you guys the clothing instead of me like doing this and it's all falling on the floor. But you know, so I want to give you guys a quick little peek at what I got. Okay, so they have their um, Halloween decor, uh, treats, desserts, all that stuff, uh, like 50% off. So um, I got these cupcakes just for the kids. Boo! Um, yeah, just something for them to have. 
And then I got this. Why am I zoomed in? There we go. Sorry. I got this uh, at the thrift store uh, for like 99 cents. I always add to my Christmas um, town and I just got it and it's a little church. Pretty cute. And then Daniel seen this cup and it has a D on it and he said this would be great for Aunt Debbie. So we got this for Aunt Debbie. Maybe I can like stuff some nail polishes or some girly things in there for her for Christmas. Um, got some razors for Dale. They even had underwear, and yes, I'm showing you my undies, y'all, but they had underwear on sale for $1.50 a two-pack. So, hello, like, that's the deal. So, of course, I just got some of those. I finally broke down and got some washcloths, y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh, mama needs some. Heard washing the other night. Finger slipped out of washcloth. Sad story, y'all. But, anyways, I got some washcloths. Still some razors. I did get two uh, new wax, um, what are these, wax melts or whatever. Yeah. For my wax warmer, they smell amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I found, oh, thank you. I found these on the little clearance um, shelf type thing, and I think these are pretty cool. You like snap it onto your little uh, iPhone, or I guess any phone really, and you can do like what right here it says what you can do right there. So I got me one for um, a Christmas stocking stuffer. I got Dell one for Christmas stocking stuffer. I got this Nair face cream to try on my upper lip. I don't know. I know I've talked about it before with the PCOS. Do not drink that. Hello. <laughs> um, anyways, I seen somebody raving about this, and I think it's like oh. the spa clay. Um, oh. So, anyways, I got this, and we'll give this a whirl, and if it works, then I'll do a video. Um, these little lip gloss things were over there with uh, where are they? Oh, these things. <laughs> so I just grabbed some. I'm just gonna no. stuff them in my stocking. I got a little nail polish, just something a little bit different because I need to paint my nails some kind of bad. I got a new Real Techniques uh, beauty sponge. I seen the other day that they have another one. It's like a diamond one. Oh my gosh, my store does not have it. I want it so bad. Same brand too. Um, let's see what else is Riley? Oh, this is mine. Look at that, y'all. Mm-hmm. Who would have thunk it? Um, and then I got some big paints to paint the uh, end tables. Uh, what else did I get these for? The end tables and something. I can't think of what else I got on paint. Anyways, just the end tables. Uh, this is the stuff that we're using to clean our 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 grout with. Working quite fabulous, if I must say so myself. That and then I just got some of this to try because you know, you know, you know. But anyways, I'm gonna have Daniel hold the camera and I'm gonna show you guys these um, clothing items. The twins in jeans, so we got them some new jeans. They like these Wrangler, uh, what is it, boot cut, and they were like a 10 slim, but these are really nice jeans. So we got some of those for them. They had jeans, they had all of these like dollar racks um, going around Walmart, which every time I would see one, I would stop and Daniel was like, he's like, it's like a black hole. You just get sucked in and you don't come out. But anyways, uh, I seen this really cute. <laughs> that, that was. <laughs> anyways. These uh, really cute shirts. This one is just a black one with like a little X uh, shape in the back there. Just really cute. You can wear with maybe some lighter leggings or some jeans or something. Be really cute for the fall. That was a dollar. And then they had another shirt kind of like what I'm wearing today. Um, but a blue one. Same idea with the back. For a dollar as well. So I now I have a blue one. Um, then that was a dollar like I said. And then they had this one which is just kind of a long shirt with a little bit of lace on the back. A dollar. And then I got this one for Dale. Shh, don't tell him. This is for Christmas. This is a Wrangler just button up shirt. And this one was marked down to three dollars. This is one of his Christmas presents. Don't tell him. And then um, they had this one which was marked down to three dollars. Don't tell him. But uh, he likes shirts like this so I mean hello you can't do it. And then at the thrift store, um, Daniel and I both found him a couple of shirts. They had this really nice one, which we got for $4.99. Just a nice little button up for going out to eat or church or something. And then um, there is another one, which is a Wrangler one. Oh, it's nice. Um, and this one was $4.99 as well. Just a nice little plaid button up shirt, like I said, for church or going out to eat. I found me this cute little dress. It almost makes me think of that little um, family dollar dress that I have. But this one's got these cute little elephants on it, but you can wear it uh, by itself or you can wear it with some leggings. That's what I do, and like boots or whatever. Um, then I've seen this cute little top here, and it is kind of short, but 
I think it would be like really adorable over a black dress or you could wear it with a white tank top underneath and maybe some uh, blue jeans that are kind of just dressed, kind of ripped up with some little like flaps. Cute. And then last is this little shirt, which I don't know how I feel about this to be honest with you guys, but it's just, it's just different. I just got something just to be different, but that's all I got today. All right, we're back from town. This is our anniversary gift. This is what we got. Sorry, the light's like right on top of you guys. But we got a media console fireplace. I've been wanting one forever and we finally got one. So excited. Are you excited? Yes, so this is our anniversary gift. Pretty excited. So excited. More excited than you guys know, okay? I've wanted one. I mean, I seriously went as far as to try to make my own little fireplace. Yeah. Do you guys remember me do it, like redoing this last year around um, winter time? Yeah. So now I can finally get rid of this <sighs> old fireplace that's pretend. Where's it gonna go? For dinner, we're just gonna have a big old mess of spaghetti because I'm really hungry and it's just easy peasy. Takes like 30 minutes, seriously. So I'm browning up some hamburger meat over here. Got my uh, noodles in the water. I have Preston over here, hard at work, working on our garlic bread. I also got a Caesar salad, trying to be healthy. Okay, I'm trying, even though I'm pretty sure the portion of my plate of spaghetti is not going to be healthy. I'm like almost 100% positive I'm going to have too much on my plate. I'm positive. I know. So, I'm positive. And I cannot wait to have the salad either. The salad's calling my name. I'm just, I'm just really hungry. <laughs> I think I'm just hungry. But uh, we're going to use some uh, ragu, this thick and hearty uh, mushroom. Yeah. So, anywho, but that's oh, going to be bad. our dinner. Mommy. Oh. I know. Oh. Uh, where's the garlic? Um, oh, that's going to be our dinner for tonight. All right, Preston, go ahead. Dear Lord, thank you for the sake of health and energy, all the food we're about to eat, all the blessings you bestowed upon us. Make sure that we're safe wherever we go, and make sure that we'll be with you. Help all the heal all those who are sick and help us with Sal and Sam and their time of need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please help Katie get all the food we got over here. Amen. Amen. Good job. Yeah. All right, here's my meal for the evening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, way too much spaghetti as usual, but I have been over there picking out on that salad. Probably ate half of what was in the bowl already, but that's okay though. But just easy peasy. But I'm about to tear this up. Riley's already been over here. He done picked out all his meatballs. I see. Uh, he done picked out all those. Uh, they already been digging in while I was uh, making my plate and getting their plates. Oh goodness. Some hungry kids, huh? Oh. Spaghetti is always a big hit around here. Always. Um, for me, it's my favorite Yeah, I know. That that and tacos! <laughs> Taco! Taco man. Hey, can you hear this? I think I ate too much. Now I'm miserable. My stomach keeps hurting and I'm miserable. I always do that to myself. I eat way too much spaghetti. Way too much. Like, I just, I can't have a little portion. I've just got to keep going and going. Oh, spaghetti will be the death of me. Pasta in general will be the death of me. Now my stomach's like, you shouldn't have ate all that. Oh, maybe, maybe I'll feel better in the morning, but I'll be here tomorrow. So I'll be able to drink plenty of water tomorrow. I hope to uh, paint those little end tables uh, tomorrow to match the coffee table. I have two baskets two. of clean laundry that is folded at the foot of my bed that needs to be put up. And I kind of sort of need to go through my closet and take out a few old pieces to make room for the new pieces that I got that Dale doesn't know about. But yeah anyways but I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight so I can try to get some rest and maybe my stomach will chill out I think I'm gonna put my heating pad on it because it's starting to feel it's it's cramping it's starting to kind of feel like it did last Wednesday 
So I hope, hope I don't have another case of that because this is just not fun. I'm already breaking out in spots that I normally don't break out. So, rough times, y'all. Mm. Oh. Mm. Good night, buddy. Mm. Good night. Love you. Anyways, good night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hopefully.